Welcome to another edition of Women Lead TV. I'm Michelle Berquist, your host, and with me today, not only my friend, a colleague, but co-founder to Stu Talks. And Deanna Potter is one of our co-founders, also our very first Stu Talks presenter. So Miss Deanna, tell everybody what Sue is. What is Sue Talks? Oh, Sue, first of all, stands for Successful, mm -hmm. Unstoppable, Empowering. And uh, Sue Talks is a uh, brainchild of mine and yours. A head kind of thing. Yeah, a head thing, a head thing, what, yeah. What, what is the story of Sue Talks? Oh, I mean, let's go with that gosh. conversation. All right, but so. Let's make it professional, because there's always like, you know, the kind of real and raw. You know, uh, but then there's I'm a, I think I'm a little insulted that it would be anything <laughs> but professional, honestly, Michelle. I mean, don't scare, oh, the, no. don't scare the viewers. Beverages. So, um, you know, it, it, actually there were no beverages in this story. That's right. You that's and I true. were on the phone together. Now, I don't know what you were doing at home, but I was at home. Um, Jammies. Yeah, jammies. Uh, we were we were on a conference call and we were talking about actually other projects. And at the time, I don't even know what rabbit hole we were down. And I, for some reason, went, you know, Michelle, there are those other talks. We all know those other talks. They're fabulous. We love those other talks. Yeah. And they really are. And but all of a sudden, I went, you know, why couldn't we do something? We're in the lane of women leading in business and really yeah. kind of taking over the world and at least or getting our fair share of the world <laughs> and uh, I had yeah. yeah and I had said you know why couldn't we do something for women uh, an event series a talk series for women and I went I don't know maybe we'd call it Sue Sue talks and Sue we would didn't say Sue yet so here this well on that conversation we did we did oh, oh yeah I don't remember that. yeah okay. we didn't okay. define Sue because okay. I said I don't know maybe we'd call it Sue so I was thinking Tess you know and saying Tess but no Sue's much better yeah thank you know thank you That's yeah good. yeah yeah I did spit out Sue on the first line we just didn't go there because your answer to everything which is what I admire about you and I love about you <laughs> is your answer is always why not your which is great let's that's try let's try it um, of course the, at the time though we were supposed to be focused on what we were talking about right. and we said all right well that's kind of interesting I think you said and you wrote it down Sue talks and we put it away it's called so let it be written right? and so let it be written yes we're going. yeah so we put it away on the shelf and it we were oh I know we were talking we were building the uh, women's uh, conference yep. at the time but for the very first one it festered. oh it festered it, it was like uh, uh, an itch you couldn't scratch so uh, about a year and a half went by and we pulled it down off the shelf and yep. we really started talking about it and we started to define Sue and we felt like the words had to be really particular and appropriate we did not pick successful unstoppable and empowering um, out of the hat. no mm -hmm. no there was a lot of time on thesaurus <laughs> a lot of time on the internet and a lot I of time I started looking up every letter in the alphabet that had s u and e yeah like, we spent a lot me. of time on those yeah but then let's yeah. talk about this yeah. a little bit cuz i think this is what is interesting about sue talks is it's you know, among being what Sue is, successful, unstoppable, and empowering women, it's about women who are changing the face of business. I yeah. mean, that inspires me when we came up with that tagline that said, these are women who are going to stand on a stage, pour their heart and their boldness into a talk that is how long? And it's 12 minutes. 12 priceless brief minutes yes yeah and you know for those of you who say that women can't shut up I just got to tell you okay or can't get to the point they are so wrong these women and I encourage you to go to suetalks.com and take a look at our YouTube channel and uh, really allow yourself to sit for a few moments 12 minutes and see what it's all about because um, being in charge of the coaching division for Sue Talks as a... We have divisions now? We do, This yeah. is new to me. We yeah. have divisions yeah. now. I love yeah. this. Okay. Um, the as the head of the coaching division, I will tell you, having worked with every one of these powerful women, um, they, as you mentioned, are very bold. They get up there and they share the absolute deepest essence of who they are, both from a personal standpoint, mm -hmm. but tie it into their journey as leaders in business. Mm -hmm. And in those 12 minutes, it's amazing how much they share, the lessons they are able to um, put out there in front of hundreds of people, and what this, these audiences walk away with. It's a very We've had some showstoppers. Oh gosh, and it's a very unique brand. It is very, very unique. Sue is different. Tell them again what the website is. Oh, uh, SueTalks.com. No, it's S-U-E. Yes. Talks. T-A-L-K-S. With an S. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. So 
uh, do something for me. And we've got a few minutes left. And I'm really curious. You were our very first Sue Talk presenter. Yeah. Um, you you know more than anybody what it's like to prepare for a Sue Talk because yeah. these are not stand up, have your PowerPoint, give a keynote. No. You know, there is a process to it, mm -hmm. but. You actually put yours together, I think it was two weeks? Yeah, 14 little days. Okay. And, and I will tell you that the average Sue Talker starts uh, five months in advance. Well, actually six months when you talk about the submission process. When they finally get to it is another subject. Yeah. So um, we take submissions online. There are themes for each of the Sue Talks. Right now we are in San Diego, uh, Orange County. Uh, this year we'll be going to LA. Pasadena and LA are on the docket. Mm -hmm. So, and we're taking over the world in the next five Let's years. Let's do it. We're doing it. Um, but at the time when we launched our first one in San Diego, uh, Michelle had said, Deanna, I think you should be, you know, the first Sue Talker. And I, my answer was no, which to many people who know me will be like, what? You passed up a chance to be on stage? I came back and said, no, you must. And I went, because this isn't about me. This is our baby, but it's about yeah. other women having the opportunity. And we literally got 14 days away and she went, no, I'm insisting you need to do it. <laughs> Where um, everybody else had had five, like by the time we picked them, we had our individuals, they had five months of multiple no, coaching. No, the first round. No, the they had less, they, had they did. They had, they had, they had weeks, but now weeks. people get five months of coaching mm -hmm. sessions, video rehearsals. It's a very, very detailed, supportive process. I had 14 days, which was still less than everybody else. But here's a yeah. question. What did you love about giving your suit to me? <laughs> I know you put your heart on the stage. You know, you were the very first one. You've come mm -hmm. over some really incredible adversity, right, health-wise. But, mm -hmm. you know, being a little bit serious, what what was it like for you to be on stage and sharing that kind of story in 12 minutes? You know, um, that's such a great question. I try. And it, oh gosh, I hate to say the word that just came to mind. Which is? Empowering. Was it? That's the word that that's just that, came to mind. Wow. So which is so appropriate. So fits. Um, and uh, if I were a walking thesaurus, I would quickly find another word to replace empowering with. I don't know. It, you know, it, it felt good. It just felt so wonderful and at the time we only had I, the first crowd was 50 people it was so intimate no, we had 75 in the first room oh okay 75. sorry she handles all I the totally logistics i totally know all these totals yeah I can she tell knows you that stuff what yeah. their blood type was <laughs> i can tell you what they do for a social fund but we combined it with our conference yes so we, we didn't did. even know what the response was going to be yeah we had and no idea it was kind of yeah. like who talks yeah. what but it was a smaller group and it was yeah. very intimate and it was really um it was it was different um, doing what I do um, and being, um, you know, instructional sometimes and, you know, all of the work I do with the Center for Organization Effectiveness is very different. And this was much more intimate and it was about really, you hate when I use this word, I think sometimes, but when we get on the stage as a Sioux talker, it is very raw. And, it, and I know you hate that, but it is. It is really. I feel like it's like the wrestling when people say raw. You know, um, it's like, well, raw I don't wrestling. watch that stuff. I don't I know. know what you're watching on the weekends. Okay, but I don't well, watch yeah, that. There you go. So um, this but, is why but, YouTube is so great. Yeah, it's like being we're, we're being raw. We're being, we're being raw. raw. We are. Being but but it, you know when I coach people and if they do if they are in some sort of an industry where they do stand in front of people and they present in any sort of way, mm -hmm. whether they're an executive or whether they're maybe they do some sort of training or something like that. I they have to break that all down because that's not what Sue is about. Right. And so all of a sudden when we put them back together as a Sue talker, it's different for them. No, whether they are comfortable or have never been on a stage, if the, it's different. Every one of them, it's different for them. It's and a very different share, experience. The pressure was on when we started these that then I needed to, was compelled to do that. And I do see that it is about breaking it down because I'm getting ready to give a Sioux talk in December. I've uh -huh. never done it. This is a, well, I wouldn't say incredible process. I'll say it's an interesting process because yeah. as a speaker, I'm used to telling people what to do. This is very heart centered and very personal. So let's tell people it's where it's raw. It is to, okay, we'll go with raw. But how can people find us one more time? SueTalks.com. And we hope we will see you in Los Angeles, Arizona coming soon. It's like we're hoping for national and world domination. Let's there go you with go that. Right there. I want to thank you for visiting us again for Women Lead TV. We'll be back for another edition and we'll catch you on the next one.